We want to turn back to this developing story this morning. Police in Hearst are asking for your help in finding a missing North Texas teen. Please take a look at your screen. It's been more than 48 hours since Zoe Robotham vanished from her neighborhood. As the days go on, her family, understandably, is just getting more and more concerned. Absolutely. And Janelle Fort live outside this morning, the Hearst Police Department. Okay, Janelle, we know the time is of the essence right now. Yeah, as it always is when a child goes missing, we are now in the third day since that 16 year old was last seen and her family and police are urgently trying to locate the 11th grade special ed student. Again, take a good look at your screen. This is Zoe. She's about 5'6", 240 pounds. According to the flyer, she was last seen wearing a black t-shirt, black biker shorts and white shoes. We spoke with her step parents yesterday. They say recently she'd been getting really anxious and they started having conversations with her about putting her into a long term care facility for her mental disabilities. The Robotham say they would started trying to exercise to calm Zoe's nerves, and that's what they were out doing in their neighborhood Sunday night around 830 near Blue Bonnet and Arwine here in Hearst when she went missing. She had just grown more and more defiant and didn't want to go the way that I, I wanted to follow the path that we usually follow and she wanted to go a different way and, and refused to go with me and her, by the time we came back here she wasn't here and she couldn't be found anywhere in the neighborhood. As always set parents say that she's never ran off before they say she does not have a cell phone and what really worries them is that she has the decision making skills of a child. So they're desperately trying to find her and they ask anyone with any information to please contact Hearst Police. Reporting right, and that can some Janelle perhaps difficult for people to understand, but makes a lot of sense. All right, thank you so much, Janelle.